Happy Sabbath, everyone. We are happy to be with you this morning. It's our song service time. Please join us as we blend our voices to sing praises to our King. Before we begin, let us bow our heads for prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for the Sabbath day. Tune our voice as we sing praise to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our first hymn will be number 590-590, Trust and Obey. Trust in Jesus. with everybody. The scripture reading is taken from Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Happy Sabbath everyone. I have entered his gates with thanksgiving. In my heart I have entered his courts with praise. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Welcome to God's house today as we worship 
praise and sing and adore him. May our souls be lifted up to heaven and our spirits be watered abundantly from the throne of grace. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Today we are going to be learning on how to trust in God. You have been learning about natural ways to stay healthy. These rules are also called natural doctors. If you follow the instructions from these doctors, 
you will form healthy habits for life. However, following these rules are not enough because as humans, we make mistakes over and over again. Sometimes we want to make right choices, but the environment in which we live makes it very difficult. Do you remember the story of Daniel and his friends? They were young captives in the palace of the most powerful king in the world at that time. He wanted them to follow his lifestyle. He wanted them to eat his food, drink his wine, and practice many other harmful habits. If they refused, they would be killed. They were in a di dilemma. There was nothing they could do by themselves, so they prayed to God. He helped them devise a plan and change the heart of their supervisor. They were able to eat nutritious food and practice healthy habits. God gave them a special blessing. In the end, they were smarter, healthier, and happier than everyone. They trusted God to, to, to take care of them, and he did. Now we are going to do a demonstration of, to help us understand what it means to trust God. Who wants to help? Me, me, me. Thank you, Jenna and Shemaya. No. Shemaya, do you trust me to poke the bag of water over your head? Now you see that you didn't get wet. Do you trust me to poke another one? Yes, sure. And I will poke the last one. Thank you. Okay, now. Students, now you see that this is a way of how we can trust God. Just as how Shemaya trusted me to poke the bag of water without her get getting wet. We can trust God even though it does not seem to make sense. We can trust God even if something hurts us or troubles us. He can take care of, all of the problem and help us to be strong again. God knows what is best for us. I can trust him because he is my creator. Sometimes things don't always turn out the way we want them to, but we can still trust him. When we spend time with God every day, we get to know him. This makes it easier to trust him. When we trust God with little things, it gets easier to trust him with bigger things. As we learn to trust him day by day, we will worry less and less. There is a song which says, don't worry, be happy. There is a little song I wrote, you might want to sing it, not for a note, so don't worry. Be happy. It's a funny song. I sing it sometimes to help me feel better. Do you know that the Bible tells us the same thing? Philippians 6, 7 says, Be anxious for nothing. Here God is telling us to trust him instead of worrying. Proverbs 17, 22 tells us why we should be happy. It says, A joyful heart is good medicine. This means that being happy is like good medicine. It will make us healthy. That might be hard to believe, but it's true. God's instructions are always right. Scientists have discovered that our bodies have special feel-good chemicals, which are released when we have a happy, positive attitude. These chemicals help us to reduce stress and boost our immune system. God loves us and wants us to be happy and healthy. That's why he asks us to trust him. I have decided to trust God every day. 
Would you like to trust him too? Would you like to trust him too? Okay, now with our prayer in our hearts, we will trust God. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being such a great and mighty God. You are our helper and healer. Please help us to trust you every day and be strong in every way. Amen. Thank you, kids. Until next time. Boys and girls, you are not too young to trust in God. Just as Daniel, Queen Esther, and the three Hebrew boys trusted him, and he came true for them, just so you can trust him. Trust him with your schoolwork. You know that? When your math problem is giving you a hard time, trust him. Trust him in challenging time. And then you can give him all the praises that he need. Most of all, boys and girls, I would like you to trust him with your life. Do you know that? Yes, trust him with your life. Put your life in his hands. There is a promise that in Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 8 that says, And the Lord, he it is, that doeth go before you. He will be with you and he will not fail you, neither forsake you. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Isn't that a wonderful promise that God will never fail you? Yes. Boys and girls, trust the Lord with all your heart. And so this morning, God bless all the boys and girls of the Caribbean Union. Thank you.